In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Gemini to generate images using AI. I will also explain if it's actually any good and mention some alternatives you can try. So, let's start with how to get to Google Gemini. Google Gemini used to be called Google Bard. All you need to do is open your browser, go to Google, and type in Google Gemini. It should be the very first link in the search results. Click on it, and it will take you to the Gemini platform. Now, when you're inside Gemini, you need to understand one important thing. Gemini is still in beta. That means it is not fully stable and doesn't always work as expected. Sometimes it can give you great results, but other times it may not deliver what you asked for. Let's try it out with an example. To generate an image, you need to type the words generate an image, followed by the actual prompt. For example, I'm going to type generate an image of a car with the sun setting in the background, photorealistic. After typing it in, just press enter. Now we wait to see what Gemini gives us. The results may vary. Sometimes you get an image that looks really nice. But other times, the images might look off or poorly made. For instance, this image here actually looks pretty decent, but you can still tell it's made by AI. For photorealistic images, Gemini doesn't always do a great job. Earlier, I asked it to generate a futuristic bullet train. The images it gave were okay, but nothing too special. I also asked it to generate a person surfing, and it didn't give me satisfying results. I tried a more fun prompt. Generate an image of a penguin holding a carrot cartoon style. This time, it gave me some pictures that somewhat matched the prompt. Then, I tried another one. Generate an image of a penguin going down a roller coaster, happy with big eyes. The results were just okay. They kind of worked, but not fully accurate. Now, if you want to generate more images based on the same prompt, you can just ask them to generate more. Gemini will try to give you more variations, but again, sometimes the results don't make any sense. This is one of the reasons I would not recommend using Google Gemini if your main goal is to generate high-quality images. The more specific and clear your prompt, the better the result might be. But even then, it still struggles quite a lot. Let's try one more. I'll type, generate me an image of a piece of bread as a sticker in a cartoon format. Now we press enter. And here, we get a images that look terrible. They sort of match what we asked for, but they don't really stand out in terms of quality. So, would I use Google Gemini as my main AI image generator? No, at least not right now. Maybe Google will improve Gemini in the future, and the image generation will become more useful. But for now, if you're using Gemini, it's better just to stick with using it for chat prompts and not image generation. While Gemini's image generation is improving, Poppy AI gives you access to multiple premium AI models, including those specifically optimized for creative work. In my full Poppy AI tutorial on this channel, I show how to use Poppy AI's features for speeding up all sorts of tasks.